Minecraft. This will be another episode of Brian playing on the Minecraft fan server, and this episode is mostly going to be a set of relatively unrelated clips where I show off either some building that I've been doing on the server or some other things happening over there. And I'll also do a little bit of talking about recent events, including a good friend of mine where something like this happened to him. But let's go ahead and get started. I figured out the perfect thing to use my Fortune 1 pickaxe for, and that's I'm just going to use it on coal, because Brian's always, oops, okay, I just mined a stone block with it there, but Brian's always running out of coal, and so, Fortune 1, I could use it on coal, I can save the Fortune 3 for things like diamonds and things that are really important, and I can use my uh, normal iron pick for doing things just like normal mining iron, and so for right now, where I am resource-wise, that seems like a good use of things. And so I'm kind of pleased about that. It makes me feel better about that pick. All right, we are back at the diamonds that I found in the previous episode. And I have brought along my Fortune 3 pickaxe. And so there's only two diamond ore blocks here, but... ho oh, ho! Wow, that was super profitable. Eight diamonds. Wow, I did not even know that that was possible. Like, I didn't even know you could get that many which is awesome. You'll also see that I've got a ton of coal because I've been using my Fortune 1 pick on the coal that I've been seeing down at the diamond layer, and so I'm doing well on coal for once, and so that is outstanding. And so I'm going to just do a little bit of continuing exploring. haven't run into any mobs yet because I've lit up this place so well already, and so I'll bring you guys back in as appropriate. Look what I found hiding right around the corner from the other diamond. It's more diamond! I wonder how much there is. All right, and definitely worried about lava over here. And so we will put some water down as kind of a just in case. But let's break out the Fortune 3 pickaxe once more. Wow. And the water was not necessarily protecting one of those. But two little veins of iron and or diamond and I have 17 diamonds that is super awesome I'm gonna keep looking around who knows what else might be lying around down here wow two steps around the corner like I was just finding the diamond here and here's more diamond what are the chances apparently 100% in this particular instance uh, but let's not get literal it looks like it might just be this one diamond block here because there's some other other ores infringing upon it, uh, and so that's sad. And I keep switching. Nope, I still have my Fortune 3 pick in hand. So, kapow! All right, only got one from that one, but I am not complaining. Uh, thank you once again, Darkfan, for giving me this Fortune 3 pick. Uh, it is doing a great job in helping Brian quickly gear up uh, and having more resources. We have a delivery to make. The town hub is back this way, but I want to go this way which is over towards where Pimpin' Panda has been living. And he was kind enough to give me a diamond pick to get things started off. And so I want to pay him back. And so let's see if I can remember actually how to get back to his place. But I think I do because I rewatched the original video that I was doing. Hello, apparently it has just turned daytime. Ha! And the skeleton decided he wanted to get in the water to escape. But little did he know that someone was going to come hopping right back out to kill him regardless. All right, well, that's fortunate timing. Uh, and I believe the panda just lives right over here. And so we're going to walk over here. And basically, uh, he gave me a diamond pick. And so I'm bringing him back four diamonds in return. The three diamonds plus a piece of interest for getting me started because I appreciate it. And it's also just a chance to kind of like see what he has been up to. And so I think that's his place right over here. And so I'll meet you guys when I'm over there. All right, we are over at Panda's base, and no one is here right now. He's not online, and so I'm just leaving him a sign. Panda, thanks for the initial materials. And I am leaving him some diamonds and some bread, because he also started me off with some chicken and some food. And so that's just kind of like a memorial to the stuff that he gave me at the beginning. And over here, uh, one of the guys I was talking to is Riedor, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, uh, but his YouTube channel is RZ Games with a Z, I guess. And he apparently had played a prank on Panda because Panda had misremembered his YouTube channel name or something. And so we didn't want him to forget. And so above channels, uh, Panda's base right here, uh, he made this, this lovely thing. And so uh, perhaps you'll see that over on RZ Games' channel. 
in any case, I'm going to head back home since no one seems to be around over here. And yeah, we'll figure out what we're going to do next, so I'll see you in a bit. I am back at Infected Mushrooms Enchanting Room. And basically right now I have five levels, and so I just want to get a few level one enchants on some tools, because level one is better than nothing. And so I've got an unbreaking. And I should really get a stick to hover over this. Let's see, efficiency. And this one's a little used, but that's okay. It's just a level one enchant. Another efficiency pick, great. And then I also want to do a couple of shovels. Efficiency, terrific. And finally, this one, unbreaking. All right, outstanding. And so while I just had some low levels, I just wanted to go ahead and spend that and get a little bit of better tools as I'm doing some caving. And I've started working on a project over in the big cave. Uh, it's not a huge project, but I'll show that off to you guys at some point later on. Uh, but let me figure out what I want to do next. Found a dungeon. Just stumbled across it. I think it might be zombies. Yes, it is zombies. All right, and this is a chance to see what we have won. It is a bunch of stuff that's not all that interesting, but I will take it. And, oh, and there's another chest. Let's see what we got over here. Ooh, saddles, my first saddles on here. And of course we have some moss stone. All right, I'm gonna have to do some inventory jiggering. And so I will see you guys in a bit. Item repair! Do, 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 do. I am visiting Schism's place, and I decided to rearrange some of the inventory at the top of this particular chest. I want to see if he notices at some point in the future. I'm here on my plot of land in town, and I built something other than just the wheat farm that you see over there. It is this! Hopefully you can tell what it is, maybe. Uh, because I'm not a great builder, and definitely not a creative one yet, but it's a silverfish, or it's supposed to be a silverfish, my tribute to the silverfish. And so I use the big kind of sheep room or whatever to get a whole bunch of colored wool of various colors, and also use some hap slabs to basically try to put together what looks like a silverfish model, and I think it's a somewhat decent likeness. Someone else on the server was able to successfully identify what it was supposed to be uh, without having to read my sign. But, yeah, I couldn't come up with any kind of, like, house I wanted to build, but I wanted to go ahead and build something on the plot of land to go ahead and get things started. And so I took a look at the kind of, like, silverfish model or whatever and just decided to go ahead and build this because silverfish are my favorite mob, and it was just kind of one thing that inspired me to go ahead and get something built on the server. So that is one thing that I wanted to go ahead and show off right now while it's daytime. And then the other thing is, I guess I can go ahead and show you the work that I've been doing in the big cave that I found. And so it's still the case that like I've been living in this little underground bunker that keeps getting a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. Yikes. Getting into this ladder and the server like always does some crazy stuff. But right now my nether portal is down here and it's just a convenient way to get to a number of other nearby locations via the nether. And so if we go ahead and hop in, I can show you what we got. And so that way goes down towards the town hub Whereas this way goes over to other stuff. And I had a staircase that goes down here into the nether proper, but now I have kind of a little shortcut that goes over here and brings us right into our cave. And so if we hop into this nether portal, we don't have to travel very far, but this brings us out a few hundred blocks out into the big cave that I've been working on. And so one thing that you can see that I've done is... Oh, I've forgotten now if it was... I don't remember if it was Jason or High Boy or who it was who was kind enough to give me a grass block so that I didn't have to use pistons to push grass down or get grass growing all the way down from the top. But basically, I've started spreading some grass because I think grass would look nice inside this big open cave. And it's well lit. It looks extremely well lit right now because I also added some skylights. And so where is one? Here is one. And so basically, I have a number of skylights where basically I dug from... The top of the world, well, the top, you know, 64 where the ground level is, and put some glass on the top and then dug it all the way straight down. And so when it's daytime, uh, that puts some, you know, natural light level 15 coming all the way down into this cavern. And so I have, I don't know, like five or seven or ten skylights kind of in this room that I've added so far. And so that makes it nice and bright in here 
in the daytime, I was thinking I'd be able to get rid of having to use torches for any light, and then I realized, well, when it turns nighttime, it's still going to be dark. And so I'm not sure if I want to try to do anything to get rid of torches or what I want to do. But in any case, um, this is a nice, big, huge, kind of just naturally hollowed out cave area that I think I want to establish some kind of base in. And so I'm making some progress in here, and so just wanted to go ahead and show that off. And yeah, as usual, I'm not sure what will be next. I've just had kind of a bunch of clips so far in this episode, and so we'll see what's around the corner. I've been replacing more of the floor of this cave with dirt, and I just happened to come around this corner and I realized, like, there's the portal and here's the entrance to this place, and there's some darkness right around the corner here that I haven't even noticed. And so I don't know if this goes anywhere, or it might just be a short dead end. Yeah, I guess it's just a short dead end. Um, but that was crazy. I thought I'd lit up kind of all the cave systems around here. I'm surprised I haven't had zombies or creepers or whatnot coming and sneaking up on me from there. So that's been good, but I need to go get some more dirt in order to continue this. And yeah, I'll bring you guys back in if there's anything interesting going on. We are back in the cave once again, and I have a number of short topics to talk about, and so I figure I can talk to you guys about that while I replace some stone floor with grass floor inside the cave here. And so yeah, basically I've been doing replacement just like this in order to kind of preserve the shape of the cave, just kind of like cutting off the top layer of stone and replacing it with dirt in a bunch of places. And so, except for I'm leaving the gold there because, I don't know, I like having the gold ore there in the floor. And that was one of the first things I noticed when I first walked into here and looked into this big cave. I was like, ooh, there's gold over there. So, uh, the things I want to talk about at this point. Um, Minecraft for the Xbox 360. I finally played for the first time a friend of mine uh, who has an Xbox. I went over to his house and played it in kind of the local multiplayer mode. And the controls are so different, so I don't play any Xbox games, I don't have an Xbox, and I'm unaccustomed to using kind of like the two joysticks, and so the controls took me a long time to try to get used to, and I don't know that I ever really got used to them. And so that was kind of the most surprising aspect for me. But it is a relatively faithful rendition of Minecraft 1.6. And so, yeah, there was some nostalgia in terms of that, as well as just fun, to. It was the first time my friend had played Minecraft, and so fun to have a chance to kind of show off the game to him. And, yeah, we just kind of derped around and built a little house and went caving for a little bit. Fought some bad guys. I was very bad at fighting the bad guys due to the, you know, two joystick control that I was just talking about. And let's see, where do I want to... I've been trying to decide kind of like where the limits of the floor of this area is going to be. And so maybe it'll just be these two levels. So in any case, a number of people asked me if I played Minecraft for the Xbox 360 or was going to get it. And I don't have an Xbox and so I'm not going to get it. But I finally did get a chance to play it at one of my friend's house. And so that was cool. So I don't know that there's anything more that I need to say there right now. The End of Crafting trailer has been up for a few days. And I posted the first episode of that series. And it seems like people like it. Obviously it's well advertised, thanks to Kurt. And yeah, I'm hoping people will enjoy the series. It is... Something that I started recording a number of weeks ago, and so I've already got like 12 episodes or something recorded. And, um, yeah, you know, you can feel free to uh, do something that I often recommend in my videos, which is to shout advice at me while I'm playing. Uh, and so you can do that in the comments, but at the same time realize I won't be able to respond to anybody's comments or suggestions by virtue of the fact that I've already recorded a bunch of episodes. And so, just be aware of that. A number of people who are new subscribers say, and I've said this in the past as well, that I sound like Kurt in terms of our voices. And I don't, I, I don't hear it. Um, a number of people have said that, but I don't think that we sound actually all that similar. But whatever, to each their own, a number of people seem to say that, so there you go. Let's see. The recent Ultra Hardcore... Minecraft Ultra Hardcore finally finished up with MC Gamer as the winner. 
And uh, I think there was one other brick here, and I think was it here? I don't remember now. I have just screwed that up a little bit. That's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. The point was just to kind of like preserve the normal kind of ambiance feel of this cave. You know, not disturb it too much as I try to make it a home. So yeah, MC Gamer managed to win, so congratulations to MC. <laughs> I called him MC rather than Super MC Gamer. And Kurt somehow managed to do what is becoming his usual thing and like die in a crazy way. Um, this time getting pushed off by his dog that he had named Greedy because Greedy had taken so many bones. I just think I heard a footstep. So there might be creepers around somewhere. But it was kind of hilarious. And so, uh, yeah, it's always good. Good to have comedy. Let's go ahead and replace a torch right here. I don't think that... Well, actually, now I'm not sure about that. I was about to say, I don't think grass grows under blocks. So, like, if you put a torch on here, like, I don't think grass would grow. But now that I'm saying that, I'm not actually sure that that's true. I'm just trying to get the grass to kind of spread all around. And let's see. Yeah, I'm not particularly good at this, you know, doing some kind of building task and also talking to you all at the same time. Uh, because I don't really have practice with that. I guess we will put a torch here and see if the grass spreads onto it. Yeah, a lot of other people do that all the time, and it's usually the case that I'm, you know, doing caving or exploring and then talking about what I'm actually doing in Minecraft as opposed to just kind of storytelling while I'm doing some kind of building in the background. But maybe I'll try to do more of that if I do some more time on the server. Oh yeah, and then the final thing that I need to talk about is Vinyl Fantasy. Um, I have already started playing Vinyl Fantasy 2 this weekend. Today is Sunday morning, and so it's a long holiday weekend here in the U.S. And let me get away from the portal. That'll be loud. And yes, so you can expect to see Vinyl Fantasy starting to air on my channel very soon. And so, yeah, I'll probably end up doing Vinyl Fantasy interleaved with the end of crafting. Kind of on alternate days, probably for the next, well, most of the next couple of weeks, I would guess. I'm not sure. We will see. But in any case, you should expect to see that soon as well. And, yeah, this episode has been mostly just kind of random clips. I haven't managed to be on the server very often with many other people, so I haven't managed to coordinate with people to do any kind of collaboration videos or projects or any stuff like that. So hopefully that will happen in the future. And, yeah, then I got up this morning and Minecraft.net was down, and so, like, I had a real hard time even being able to log in to connect to the server here. So, yeah, hopefully in the future that will go better. <laughs> In any case, I'll go ahead and cut things off here. This has been kind of a meandering episode with just a bunch of clips of me doing random stuff on the Minecraft fan server. So, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you'll enjoy it more once I find some more exciting things to do here on the server. But at this point, I feel like I'm pretty kind of well situated uh, in terms of initial supplies and getting my base together and having some nether portals linked up so it's easier, easier for me to get from here to there and everywhere. And so hopefully I'm in better shape now that I can do, do other things here on the server. All right. So I will let you guys go. Hope you're having a great day. I will see you again soon.